Okay, I've tried filming this intro like a million times and every time, I don't know, she'd been too excited. So anyway, I'm just going to say today we're going to be trying out the Kat Von D Rock Candy lipstick set. You get six little mini lipsticks and I just think this is just perfect. A, I love all the shades. B, they're little cute minis and I get to test out like so many different shades without having to buy them all, like the full sizes. I mean, how great is that? Can you think of anything better than that? I mean, probably, but this is great. I mean, look at this. Look at that. It cost me £34. I just thought I would treat myself because Anton's auntie gave me some money and I thought, well, I'm going to buy makeup. I mean, really, of course. These are brand new shades in limited edition packaging. Usually Kat Von D lipsticks come in a kind of black tube and as you can see these are colourful and pretty and ooh la la I mean really it just says bold pigment long wear colour cushion technology whatever that is I have no idea what is colour cushion technology no idea I mean really it sounds great I'll just go with it I was so excited in the lead up to this video my bra popped off twice that's why it took me so long to do the intro my bra was popping off all over the place. I'm particularly excited about the grey one because I'm a big fan of grey in general. I like a grey sofa, I like grey curtains. I'd paint the whole house grey if Honey's, well Honey's will let me. I'm just going to paint the whole house grey. I mean really. He's, yeah so this costs £34 and do you know what? I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to just go on about how excited I am. I'm just going to show you. Let's just show them. Let's just get them on. I'm just getting them on because I, can't, I need them on my lips right now is the thing. I am like a hungry dog who hasn't eaten all morning and he's ready now for lunch and he's salvating me about how I feel about these lipsticks. So let's just, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Look at this. I've never actually tried any Kat Von D uh, lipstick out ever before. So, I mean, this is all new to me. I love this packaging. It's very kind of rock punk like and I'm a huge fan of rock in general I'm going to test them out in the order oh oh they're full oh no I've lost the lid oh gosh where's the grey one where's the grey one oh my gosh I've lost the grey one what like how have I managed to lose the grey one already I mean what that what say what okay it's fine I found it but look at that I mean I love it I could just look at this all day and just be a happy lady i mean really okay so by the way box it came in does anyone care about the box i mean not really oh okay anyway also i did uh like youtube youtube it youtube rock candy so that i could you know just like you know when you've bought something and then you want to get all excited about it so you watch all the different reviews on youtube just to get you all excited i youtube searched rock candy and now i know how to make rock candy i mean really i watched two videos on how to make rock candy so i know if you ever need to make rock candy if you're doing like a party a fiesta a buffet for your colleagues come to me i will tell you how to make rock candy it takes ages by the way i mean really and it, I, I don't think it's worth it but anyway that's a complete side note i mean really we're four minutes in uh, do i have a, a cat bondy studded fabulous lipstick on my lips right now I, I think not okay so we're gonna begin with this one it's beautiful i mean it's beautiful it's not even on my lips yet but it's beautiful this is in the shade ziggy i mean really okay these are so cute by the way can i just say these are so insanely cute. Oh my gosh, it gets cuter, look. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my God. Calm down, Amwin. Calm down. Okay, so, right, this is Ziggy. Oh, wait, I'm not going to turn it all the way up because then I'm going to look. At, what does that remind you of, by the way? Something rude. Something, ado I mean, really, Amwin, stop talking get to applying okay so this is ziggy okay are we ready oh it smells nice it smells very sweet and these are matte by the way oh my gosh i just realized i've not given you any info about these but you know whenever i'm watching like swatching videos i'm just like 
get to the swatching, get to the swatching. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I'm like, come on now. Girl, get it together. It's super creamy. Super opaque. Oh my God, I love this shade. I love it. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I love the shade. Mm. It feels super comfortable on my lips. It was smooth going on, creamy, super opaque. Look at that. <gasps> and I would describe this as being a true hot flamingo pink. I mean, look at this. <gasps> and with the eye look, I'm really loving it. Like a bright pink lip with a sultry, like gray black. It's not gray, it's black. I mean, I'm just loving it. Oh my gosh. So, okay, I love Ziggy. These smell extremely sweet. Like, if you think of how sweet a MAC lipstick smells. These are like MAC lipstick on crack. Okay, so, mm, mm, mm. <gasps> la, 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 la. Loving it. Okay, on to the next. <sighs> okay, so this one is Babe. And I think, like you can see, this one is much more of like a purple undertone, kind of pink, almost like a magenta. Just see, to me, I can see like purple, pink. Oh my gosh. Oh, ooh la la. Ah, oh, I'm loving it. I don't know which one I prefer. I love them both just as much. It's like I love my kids. I love them the same. I mean, really. Okay. Okay, so this one is Crush. This to me looks kind of like a mix of the previous two. So this one is Crush. This one is Babe. And then we've got Ziggy. So Ziggy was a lot more like pink, like Barbie pink. Whereas uh, Babe was a bit more like of a purpley kind of pink. And this is just more of like a, a bright, almost like neon purple. Would you say this is pink or purple? I mean, it's a tough one. It's kind of like, oh, I don't know. I mean, I have no idea. I feel like this one isn't as working for me right now as the other two. But I still love it. It's very neon, very bright. Again, very opaque, smooth, creamy, all of the things we like to hear. Uh, but yeah, just as a comparison, there you go. You've got the three. They remind me of something. I mean, I cannot get it out of my head. You know, it's like that thing. Once you've seen it, you cannot get it out of your head. And it's something. I mean, I'm not. Anyway. Okay, so next we have a very true kind of purpley shade. And <laughs> it's a great description, I went. I mean, really. I don't think I suit purples. Well, I've never really worn a purple lipstick, so... I suppose I'm about to find out if I suit it or not. This is in the shade Roxy. And usually, like, I wouldn't gravitate towards... Why can I not get this off? Okay, there. Done it. Did it. I mean, really. Okay, so it looks like almost like a purpley blue. Yeah, so I wouldn't normally gravitate towards this kind of shade. But anyway, let's try. This is the, the joy of having, like, six different shades in a set. I mean, really. Look, my lips are stained a bit pink. Uh-oh. Do you know what? I'm really liking this. Oh my gosh. Like, this is definitely not what I would usually go for. Um, and I'd say that, like, for some reason, I feel like the formula of this was just slightly, like, ever so slightly more tricky to apply. It just was a bit draggy, but, like, nothing... It's only because I tried those, and the pinks were so creamy. This was just a little bit more draggy. I mean, really, I'm kind of liking it. I mean... This is a whole new world for me, but um, I sign me up. She's liking this. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know, would I wear it to the office? Probably not, but I'm liking this. And I feel like this would... Well, I'm just... She's liking it. I mean, really, look. Roxy. <gasps> yes. If you like purple lipsticks, I think you're going to like this one. <sighs> She's, I'm just so happy about this whole situation right now. Oh, what's that? Oh, my brow's popping off again. I mean, oh my gosh, it's off. Oh. Okay, so next we have Ozzy. This is a, like, a pastel purple shade. Almost, I don't know, it looks... I don't know, it just looks like a little bit mauve in a way. I like to mauve it, mauve it. Anyway, I'm going, come on. Okay. Okay, so this is a lot more of a toned down, almost like grey based... What am I talking about? I don't know. I'm making it seem like I know what I'm talking about. I have no idea. I mean, what, what am I even saying? Um, again, this one is very smooth, creamy. The formula is very similar to the pink ones. Oh, yes, honey. Okay, so I think I prefer this one to the more bold, um, kind of 
purple and when you hold them up next to each other I'd say not that I'm saying the packaging is an exact like reflection of the shade of the lipstick but you can see that um which one was this Roxy is a lot more of a blue tone purple and um Ozzy is a lot more of a grey tone purple. Again, this isn't the kind of shade that I would be usually reaching for, but I'm really liking it and I feel like this would look really nice with a just a not much going on on the eye kind of a situation. You know, it has to be all about the lips, I feel, with these bold shades. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, so I've saved the best till last. This is the this is the one that I have been most excited about. This is zero and it's a grey. Oh and this is the soon to be colour of my entire being right now. I mean look. Okay, oh I've been searching for the perfect grey lip product and this could be it okay silence silence okay <sighs> oh my god i'm loving it it's everything i thought it would be and more and i just thought would it not be cool like why has this trend not taken off one like colour on the bottom lip and another colour on the top lip. Why is that trend never taken off? I just thought then, anyway, side note, I mean, oh god. And this is just as smooth and creamy as the pinks. Okay, so guys, I'm loving this. I, um, like I can say, like in words, how much I love this. It's everything that I thought it would be and so much more. It went on so creamy for such a light color it just it just kind of danced onto my lips and i mean i'm i'm loving this i can see this being like an everyday shit i know you're thinking i mean is it every day probably not but i don't care i mean i do not care i need to get a t-shirt not an everyday kind of girl or if it's an everyday shade then i do not want it something like that but look at this and i also love the shade of gray it's like a almost like it's quite a warm shade of grey like I'm a much bigger fan of more warm toned greys than cool toned greys um believe me I know a lot about greys and honey knows a lot about greys because I've gone on like I've looked at so many different shades of grey when I was wanting to paint the house I know like about different shades of grey this is a perfect shade of grey I mean I feel like if my blush as well, like let's do this, I feel like if my blush was a bit pinker, it, I just feel like if my blush was a bit more pink again, it would just make everything pop right off. So I'm just applying more of my blush just because I think I could get away with like a really pink blush with this look. Do you see what I mean? Do you think or am I just getting a bit carried away now? Probably, but oh my gosh. So, guys, I am so happy that i got to try these lipsticks the formula was exquisite i have no complaints whatsoever they were smooth they were creamy they were opaque they feel comfortable on my lips they're matte they're just sassy as sassy can be i am loving this shade i'm looking forward to wearing it when i've not you know got like the undercurrent of the purples and the pinks because i feel like my lips were a little bit stained you know when it came to trying zero but Oh my gosh, if you love purples, if you love pinks, if you love a grey shade and you want to try some Kat Von D lipsticks, I think this set is perfect. I wish that more high-end makeup brands would do this, you know, so that it would, it would enable us people who don't have loads and loads of money, you know, to buy like loads of full-size lipsticks. It would allow us the opportunity to try out a bunch of their different shades. Um, I just feel like this is perfect, perfection right now. Okay, so I'm going to go because I could just be here all day just raving about these. These are like my new favourite lipsticks. Okay, okay, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with more. Bye guys.